tell you that new head that Art made for me, that sucker is, uh, it really holds that soft plastic up so you don't have to bother with glue or switching your bait out every time you get a bite. Let me show it to you. Put a little bit stronger hook in it than most crappie hooks just because you get an opportunity to catch walleye out here and you want to be able to land them. Let me see. I'm going to probably hold it by the hook. But it's got that little thing, that little screw lock on there. Much money, dude. Heck yeah. You've seen I probably caught six or seven fish right there on that one bait and one soft plastic has not had to not had to switch it yet. Heck yeah. <laughs> there it is. Let's get after it again. Probably about ten and a half, ten, ten and a half. Still that same stump, dude. Same stump. They think that's a good looking fish, man. Yes, sir. All of them thick on the back. So late coming around on these crappie the last couple years, man. I'm telling you. I mean, they always had the numbers. I mean, as long as I've been fishing it anyway. But man, the size. Man, they're coming around a little bit. I mean, there's no steady 14 inches coming out, but we've caught a couple 15s and a lot of 12s and a lot of 13s. You know, in the past couple of years. Oh, smoked it. You don't even have to watch your bait, you know, you just, that's a fatty, that's a broad one there, but uh, you don't have to know your bait's falling right on top, you don't have to see it as I guess is what I'm saying, once you get dialed in on that cast, but you, today with the water being dirty and, and them just being so tight, they just don't want to come off of it. You better put it there. Couple blacks, couple whites. <laughs> 